Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I will demo how to secure Mule API by using Azure Active Directory as a client provider. Once API is secured, API consumer will be authenticated and authorized by Azure Active Directory. So let's start. I will move to the AnyPoint platform and preview the Mule API in Exchange now. I have logged into the AnyPoint platform. I will go to the Exchange. So I have created secured order API. Right now this is not secured API. It has the slash order send point using get method. I will retrieve the all orders. So we can get the all the orders here without passing any token because it's not secured. Now I will go to the API manager. So I have registered this API to the API manager and it is paired with the implementation new application using auto discovery. We have instance ID. Right now there is no policy configured and this API is not secured. So if I will go to the postman. So this is the API and I am invoking slash API slash order send point. Click send. So we got the result. And right now I'm not passing any authorization, no auth. Now I will go to the API manager and here I will configure OID connect for to token enforcement policy. But before I can configure this policy, I need to create a client provider. So I'll go to the access management. And here I will add a client provider. So because I will add the Azure as a client provider. So first I need to set up something in Azure. So I will go to the Azure portal and I will go to the Azure Active Directory. And here I will register application. New registration. I will give the name OMS. CP app. I will keep these value to default. I will click register. So application has been registered. Now I will create a secret. Client secret. I will give the name OMS. Credential, click add. I will copy this value because it won't be available later on. So I'll copy notepad. Now I will add some permissions. So API permissions. Add permission. I will add graph API permission, select application and I will add application read write owned by permission. I will give the grant admin consent to default directory. So Azure AD configuration has been completed. Now I will go to any point platform. Here I will add the client provider. I will select open ID connect DCR for Azure. I will give the name client provider Azure ID. Here I need to enter the issuer endpoint. For that, I will go to the Azure portal.
I'll go to the overview, click endpoints, and here I will copy open ID connect metadata document endpoint. Go to the new tab, retrieve this metadata information, and search for issuer. So this is a issuer and this is a issuer endpoint. I will copy the issuer endpoint. Go to the endpoint platform. I will copy the issuer endpoint here. Now I need tenant ID. For that, I will go to the Azure portal and from here I will copy tenant ID. This is tenant ID. Now I need client ID. For client ID, I will copy from here. I copied client ID and client secret. I have copied in a notepad. So I will copy from here and this is client secret. So I have copied the client secret. I filled all the information. I will click the create button. So Azure AD client provider has been created. Now I will go to the environment and I will assign this client provider to the sandbox environment. Click update. So sandbox have the client provider Azure AD assigned. I will go to the API manager and I will update the API's client provider as well. So I will select client provider Azure AD, click save. Now I will go to the policies and I will add the policy here. Now I will add open ID connect access token enforcement policy to this API, click next. I will keep all these fields to default. Only I will skip the client ID validation. I will click apply. So policy has been applied. Now API has been secured. Now if I will go to the postman, I will invoke this API again, this endpoint again we will get the error. Right now, it is taking some time because it takes time to push the policy to the runtime manager. So we'll keep trying. Policy has been not pushed to the runtime yet. Takes a couple of seconds. Once policy is updated, we'll get the error. So we got the error, policy has been updated in the runtime. Now we need access token to access this API. So we need to get the token, what to token. So I've already created the request to get the token. Let me get this token URL again from portal. Azure portal, I will go to the endpoint. This is the token endpoint. We have to use B2 token endpoint. I have copied the OAuth 2 token endpoint. I will paste it here. So here I am passing a scope. So this is a graph API scope, graph.musoft.com and we have to add dot default for scope. So this is the scope we need to send to access the active directory. Grant type I'm using client credential, client ID and client secret. For that, let me clean this first. Now we need to get the client ID and client secret. For that, I need to go to the endpoint platform. I will go to the exchange. I 
I will go to the API and here I will request access. So I will select the instance then I will create new application. OMS portal application request app. OMS portal request app. For grant type, I will select implicit grant type, authorization code grant type, and for redirect URI, I have previously entered values. So I will select 8080 callback, HTTP localhost colon 8080 callback. I will use this URL. Click create. So application has been created. Now I will request the access. So we got the client ID. Let me save it in notepad. And we got client secret. I'll save in notepad. Click close. So this is the application that we created and this application also should have created in Azure Active Directory as well. So we can check this. We will go to the Azure portal and here I will click registered application all. So we got this application. This we created from the AnyPoint platform exchange. So it's same application. And the client ID and client secret we got here. These came from the Azure Active Directory. So I will copy these values in Postman. So we have a scope that is a graph API endpoint slash dot default, grant type client credential, client ID and client secret we just provided. And there is no parameter. We have method post, I will click send. So we got the access token, I will copy this. And I will use this when I am working this API endpoint. So I will send this token as a bearer token. So I selected authorization as a bearer token. I will click send button. We got the response. If I will change anything, I will go to the error. If I replace again, I got the result. If I do not pass anything, I got the error. Access token was not provided. So we need to pass the bearer token. Click send, we got the result. So let me recap. Initially, our API was not secured. Secured order API, it was not secured. We didn't have any policy configured in API manager. There was no policy configured here. Then we try to secure this API. For that, first we created client provider in access management.
to create this client provider we did some setting in azure active directory we created a app we registered a app we created a client credential we gave api permissions and then we created a client provider azure ad client provider by passing this value from azure portal then we assign this client provider in sandbox environment and at the end we configure the policy open id connect access token enforcement policy and we secured our api in postman to invoke the api first we retrieve the access token by passing these values in body scope grant type and client id and client secret and then we use this access token and pass this in the api request as a bearer token and we got the result so this is how we can uh, use azure ad as a client provider and we can secure our api using open id connect access token enforcement policy i hope you understood how to configure azure ad as a client provider and how to configure open id connect access token enforcement policy and secure the mule api this is all in this video if you like this video click the like button and subscribe the channel thanks for watching thank you very much